Meet Just Nuisance, a Great Dane and the only dog ever to be officially enlisted in the Royal Navy. During World War II between 1939 and 1944, he served with HMS Africander, a Royal Navy naval base in Simonstown, a pretty seaside town in South Africa. In 1939, he was bought as a pup to Simonstown by his owner, Benjamin Chani, who ran the United Service Institute, which was a favorite hangout for sailors from the Royal Navy. A very friendly dog, he soon became a familiar figure around town, taken for walkies, treated to pies, biscuits, and even beer by the sailors, to whom he became kind of a mascot. Naturally, the dog in turn became very fond of sailors, all sailors, and followed them everywhere, to the naval base, the dockyards, and even onto the ships. Not a small dog, he was even large for a Great Dane. When he took to lounging about at the top of the gangplank, he blocked the way and that's how he got his name, Nuisance. He often escorted drunken sailors safely back from the train or the pub to their bunks, even if they weren't actually based in Simon's town. However, it was his habit of following the sailors onto the trains that really got him in trouble. When the sailors went on leave, he would like to go with them on the train to Cape Town, some 22 miles away. Not having a ticket, the sailors used to try and conceal him from the ticket inspector, but more often or not, he would be discovered and put off at the next station. Not a problem for nuisance though, he would simply jump on the next train to complete his journey. Exacerbated railway officials sent demands to his owner, ordering him to keep the dog under control, pay his fares or have him put down. This incensed the naval community, who had adopted this huge dog as one of their own. Letters were written to the Commander-in-Chief of the Navy, who came up with the perfect solution. Nuisance would be enlisted into the Royal Navy. An enlisted man was entitled to free rail travel, and so on the 25th of August 1939, Just Nuisance was signed up. His surname was given as Nuisance, first name Just. His trade was Bone Crusher, and his religion Scrounger. Nuisance signed his papers with a poor mark ordinary seaman just nuisance was later promoted to able seaman to entitle him to free rations although an enlisted sailor nuisance never went to sea his duties did however include fundraising and raising morale a seaman was allocated to nuisance to ensure he was regularly groomed and to prepare him for appearing at parades wearing his seaman's hat he also famously got married as a money raising stunt for the war funds However, he was not exactly the model seaman, as his conduct sheet shows. He committed many minor misdemeanors, including riding the train without his pass, going AWOL, losing his collar, refusing to leave the pub at closing time, and on one occasion, sleeping in an improper place, namely a petty officer's bed. For this last misdeed, he was denied bones for seven days. Unfortunately, Just Nuisance had to be discharged from the Navy for health reasons on the 1st of January 1944. He had been involved in a car accident and developed a thrombosis, which was slowly paralyzing him. It was decided that the kindest thing to do would be to put him down. And so on the 1st of April 1944, the naval surgeon put him to sleep. The following day, he was laid to rest with full military honors, including the playing of the last post. A statue in Jubilee Square and a display of nuisance papers and belongings, including his collar in Simon's Town Museum, ensures that this wonderful dog, who stole so many hearts, is never forgotten.